Thank you so much for watching my last video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the warehouses. And uh, this video is the series is, is a part of uh, the video series of uh, Know Your Snowflake Console. In one of our past video, we covered the databases tab. And uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the warehouses tab. So those who haven't watched my first video, I would request you to go to uh, the video channel and check check out the first video of this series. Okay, so continuing to with this, when you log into Snowflake account, by default you land into this kind of page where you see the worksheet. So this worksheet is not the main component of the Snowflake console. It's one of the tabs out of these available tabs. And you won't be able to see this account tab uh, unless you are having the account admin access, right? Unless your current role is account admin role. So it doesn't matter which role you are currently having, account admin or sysadmin, you should be able to access rest of the tabs, okay? So let me switch this uh, current role to sysadmin role and continue with the warehouse tab. Warehouse is the component which is used for all the computing purpose. So any data processing activity that we do, whether it is in JSON or uh, we uh, query the data, right? So for all the data in and data out from this storage layer, we need the warehouse. So let me take you to the warehouse tab. And uh, in the warehouse tab, we get the list of all the warehouses. We can create a new warehouse. We can modify the configuration of existing warehouse. The warehouse may be running uh, in the running state and we can suspend the warehouse so that we can stop the billing. And if a warehouse is suspended, like you see all these four warehouses are suspended, I can resume the warehouse, okay? I can also drop the warehouse if I don't need that configuration of the warehouse anymore. And if the warehouse is uh, owned by any higher role, and that needs to be passed to any lower role or vice versa, we can transfer the ownership of the warehouse as well through this UI. So in this UI, we can uh, do almost all the kind of management that is needed for any warehouse, okay? So I will start with the creation of a new warehouse here. I will not talk much uh, about the warehouse features in detail because that's, uh, that's a part of topic covered in a separate video. But in this, the main in objective is that I would like to walk you through the UI components so that you can leverage uh, its feature and uh, you can get a max of the you know uh, uh, UI features. So let me click on create and uh, you get this create warehouse window where you can give it warehouse name. So the naming of the warehouse, uh, it depends on our uh, naming convention standard adopted by the organization. Generally, it starts with the environment like dev, prod, or UAT. So I'm 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 going ahead with the dev underscore demo underscore wh. So you know this wh is um, a suffix which we add to every warehouse so that it represents the object as a warehouse. Okay, so in the list of the objects, you can easily classify that this is a warehouse. That's where we add this wh suffix. And then we have the size. So it starts with extra small and it goes to 6x large size. So extra small uh, warehouse will have one cluster with single server. The configuration of the server will be 8 core and 16 GB of RAM that's the capacity of a single cluster okay and if you need more powerful cluster then you go ahead with small where it will double up so if in extra small we have one server in small you get two servers so now total you have 8 plus 8 16 cores and 30 gb of ram and when you go for medium it will double up the small so there you get the four servers likewise it gets multiplied by two Okay, and uh, so that's where we select the size of the warehouse. There is no simple rule which will tell us that which size of the warehouse will be good 
uh, or most suitable for our workload this we derive by running the query or the workload multiple times on different different warehouses and based on the performance that we get out of there we choose the best suitable warehouse size so i am selecting the extra small here and then we have an option of uh, auto suspend so you know this auto suspend uh, will enable uh, our warehouse to suspend after 10 minutes when this is idle so let's say there is no query uh, there, there there were no query executed in last 10 minutes on the warehouse so then the warehouse will automatically suspend and when it will suspend it will stop the billing so we don't we are not getting charged right we can reduce it down to five also or you see we have never also so when it is never it means the warehouse will not be suspended ever unless you delete it or drop it okay uh, in some of the certification exam it also asks that if you enable the auto suspend can we put it zero yeah you can put the zero also whenever you put zero it means the warehouse will never suspend so never and zero is both like the same thing okay auto resume is a feature that we add when um, we uh, want the warehouse to automatically start executing the query whenever any privileged role or user is trying to run the query on this warehouse okay so it doesn't matter what is the state of the warehouse warehouse will start running the query and it will automatically start right so so that feature we can add here so this is the simple configuration window of the warehouse where you uh, uh, you know uh, get uh, just high level the key attributes to be defined but uh, if you want to know more about the warehouse configuration you can follow up this page right and uh, at the same time the similar activity you can do in the worksheet also when you click on show sql and here you get the query you can use this query in the worksheet to create the warehouse okay when i click on finish it will start the warehouse so the warehouse status will be in running state or started state and for next five minutes if we are not running any query on this warehouse the warehouse will automatically suspend now uh, if you see the ownership of this particular warehouse this is uh, owned by sysadmin right owner is sysadmin ideally all the databases and the warehouses should be owned by sysadmin not even account admin okay and if you are having any lower level of custom role created even those roles should not be owning the warehouse and databases it should be ideally owned by sysadmin because that's the division of responsibility given to um, sysadmin role okay additionally you can select the warehouse you can go to the grant privilege and select the privilege for uh, uh, privileges on this warehouse to be given to some other role or user so if you see modify monitor operate uses these are the four different types of privileges which could be given to a warehouse modify means um, you will be able to resize the warehouse right monitor where you can track what is the credit consumption over a period of time for this warehouse operate will allow you to suspend and resume the warehouse manually and uses will allow you to run the query on this warehouse so uses is the bare minimum uh, permission that is needed to operate on this i mean use this warehouse okay if i select uses i get the list of roles let's say i want to grant this role to dev developer okay so now dev developer will be able to run the query using this warehouse okay i can click on grant and this has been added so you select this warehouse click on configure change the configuration and uh, you can also suspend the warehouse right you can resume the warehouse drop the warehouse and transfer the ownership these are some of the things that we can do let's say i want to get the current status of the warehouse 
so i will click on refresh and this will refresh and get me the current status of my warehouse whether it is suspended resume or uh, you know running queries like queuing queries so how many queries are queued how many queries are running these details you can very well um, check here okay so uh, this was it about the warehouse uh, uh, managing the warehouse through uh, console and uh, if you want to know more about the warehouse follow for the you know separate video uh, on the snowflake warehouse in detail so see you in the next video where we will talk about uh, uh, the another i mean other tabs like history and account tabs okay see you there bye